One of my students wanted to do some Radiohead songs today, and we were looking at Wolf at the Door. And I kind of forgot about this song, but I remember thinking it was pretty cool. So here's how you do it. You basically um, need to know these chords. You need to know D minor. Well, first of all, pull up the tab in the description because it's really helpful. Um, and glance at the chords real quick. It's going to be D minor. And then G sus 2. So this is the flat 3 that's making it D minor. The F note. And you just move it over to here. So now it has E in it. So it's D sus 2. Then you need this kind of weird chord. It's like a G minor with the E flat in it. Just makes it tense. And then you release it for the next chord, just G minor bar chord. After that, so after that, you want to go to A sus4. So you do an A major, like most people for stuff like this. You can just lay your finger flat on these three. And put. I like to put my third finger here on D to make it sus4. If it has C sharp, it's A major. If it has D in there, it's A sus4. Then you need to go to um, A major. So we'll get rid of that note to go to A major over G. So it should be like this, it should sound like. It's kind of kind of eerie sounding and the notes are just descending on top. It's like. Next one. Next one. Last one. So. So that's probably why it's making sense musically. And the picking is just easy. It just goes down, or it goes up, and then down, so. Then you start on the A string again. The next one's a little confusing, so you gotta get this funky chord set up. You gotta do pick, pick on the bottom two, and then skip over the D string, and up to the B string. So it's... Bottom string, fifth, fifth string, so sixth string, fifth string, second, third string, second string, third string, fourth string. And you do the same thing on G minor. The next one, the same patterns as the first chords. And then, and there's one thing in the tab you can like add, oops. So you can go like this on this part if you want. Sometimes you'll hear it. And one thing that's throwing me off sometimes when I start going fast and like playing it consistently, I noticed I would do this. Like listen to what happens. I'll probably do it. You hear that? Like I actually didn't do it too bad right there. So sometimes like the crease in your finger, like it happens on just ma minor bar chords sometimes. So sometimes what I gotta do is over bar a little bit, like up here, and then the crease, the crease in my finger is an issue, so. so. We kind of have these creases in our fingers, sometimes it lines up on one of the strings. So for me, the solution is just to over bar for this chord, or I was experimenting with doing it like this. Because Johnny, if you watch him play guitar a lot, I don't know who's playing the song, but like Johnny would like play with his thumb most of the time. Whereas Tom, I remember seeing do more bar chords, but you could also do it like this. Do you set up like this minor shape? But then this chord is awkward in my opinion, just a regular minor bar chord. So anyways, that's another solution. Next part, you just gotta go like this D over F sharp, so two, A, so F sharp, A, and D. Two, two, three. Just pick those three notes. Then you slide this finger over, 
Middle finger goes up to D and ring finger goes to the fourth fret. So three, four, three. So this part goes. And then you go to D major seven over F sharp. Just strum this, and then you strum this. You hear like a pause, like just kind of a long pause of some stuff that happens. And uh, you could also do this part with your thumb if you wanted. You could just go like this. doing there is making sure to mute out the A string when I strum, so same thing when I was doing it this way. And there's one more part in the song. The chords are a little different. It's going to go D minor, D minor bar chord, and C sus2 instead of D sus2, so 3-5-5-3, five, five, three. and B flat major. So this is one three three three, and then A minor, just regular A minor, then A major. Um, so I'll play that real quick, and that's it. It's a pretty weird song. It's pretty cool though. Oops, sorry. I forgot to switch to sus two. It's D minor. kind of got a little mellower sound to it. First part I would consider kind of tense. This is a little mellower. It's D minor, C sus2, B flat major, A minor, A major. So that's it. If anyone has any questions about the song, um, it's not that hard, but I figure I'd throw it up because, like, it, Radiohead can be kind of a pretty, seem like a pretty weird band because they were in the mainstream, but they were doing a lot of weird stuff. So to me, like, teaching the song today is a lot of fun because versus, like, versus a lot of the bands I teach as a guitar teacher, this song is definitely out there. But, I mean, com compared to, like, experimental music or jazz music, it's not that weird or anything. So if you're just like starting to learn guitar, learning like little pieces of Radiohead songs could definitely be a good way to kind of encounter some new stuff, but still sort of more within a rock sound. So anyways, that's it. Bye.